How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to Six Saturday for the third time in a row. Not going to be forever. <laughs> we'll, we'll get on track eventually. But there was a few movies in a row that we wanted to see, and since Six Saturday has to take precedence over filmography, we can do filmography anytime. Six Saturdays we have to do when it's in theaters. Uh, rambling, rambling, rambling. The point is, we're going to do Sausage Party. I'm the JJ. Da 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 da. Wait, Sausage Party? No, 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 oh. no. Big deal! I can use innuendo too! Tonight's fight is between Flyboy and the Vault Hunter! Blowjobs! This movie bothers the shit out of me. And it's not being, it's not being, in my opinion, it's not being reviewed fairly. And I mean that for the opposite. Lot, lots of people like it for reasons we do not understand. Like, a lot of the humor in this is very... And again, it's you gotta know what you're in store for, but in all fairness, the movie itself doesn't know what it's doing. So it's like, it's like it's not really a fair excuse. If you're gonna say, oh, it's a dumb comedy, then why do we have all these messages hidden in there about, like... Yeah, it, like, like, there's a lot of... And we'll get to those in a I second. I like some of the messages in the movie, but it's like, it feels like it was it written by an angsty teenager who had just learned how to use profanity. The best way I can say this is it starts with, like, a fucking myriad of fucks. Yeah, fucks, bitches. Overabundance just like... of just... And it's, again, it's used like a kid who just learned it, so it'd be like, fuck you, you damn fuck bitch. It's like, are we really laughing at this? Is this really what we've come and to? No one, no, no one in our theater was fucking laughing at this. No, it's true, but we've only... In all fairness, though, our theater only had two other groups of people in it, or three, and there's like two people. Yeah. Really not a, a packed house, so it shows you the people that are uh, lining up for this one. I can understand, like, if the entire notion of it is, like, CGI animated food that's, like, happy-go-lucky using profanity, but... In fact, it starts with a... It actually doesn't start with just straight out of the gate cursing. It starts with, like, a Disney-style opening song. Yeah, but then... And, and then the in the middle the song, of the song, yeah. it was happening, and I was like, yeah. well, that's, that's not funny. You blew your load already. Yeah, and, and, and the only way that that's going to be funny is if it comes out of nowhere, and it wasn't really out of nowhere. You expect it after the trailers. The thing is, it's very off-putting. That's my point. Is it? It's. I know we curse a lot if you look back at our videos, but at the same time, it's like this is even more than we do it. If that makes sense, and it's like yeah. I can handle a lot, but even I was pushed to like a point of just fucking just craft a joke. Stop using fuck. Just craft a joke. And yeah. when they do, and they don't rely on the cheap fucks and the and the the it's juvenile humor, it's pretty funny. funny. Yeah, like uh, one one of the things that I found funny in general was literally all the racial stereotypes found in a lot of the cast. The Jewish bagel. Yeah, I, I found yeah. I found I found all of that hilarious. Laura Del Taco, whatever her name was, Teresa yeah. Del Taco. Yeah, I found all of that hilarious. Played by Selma Hayek. I found a lot of that humorous. Yeah, I thought that was just, pretty good too. Just all all the sex jokes, all the I've never found those funny. I've never they've not they did not appeal to me. They're I mean, not. I find them funny if they're cleverly done, but like this movie just literally spoiler alert almost ends in like a 2 to 3 minute, maybe even 5 minute orgy scene. Yeah, it's just Again like, with the cursing, same problem with the sexual jokes, they overdo it. It's an overabundance. It's not funny. Arguably, that end scene does kind of get to a point where it's just like, okay, this is getting a little funnier, but it still lets end this. Yeah. Let's talk more about, like, the characters. Uh, how did you feel? I felt Seth Rogen was okay. He's one of those rare exceptions that I think, as a voice actor, he can pull it off. One of them, because the guy hams it up in regular rules anyway, so... That's true, too. Well, hams it up by, like, playing it seriously down, if that makes yeah. any sense. But yeah, I know what you're saying. Um... Edward Norton is the bagel. What yeah. the fuck? Yeah. Really? Like, honestly, even knowing that, I how want you to go money, into this movie and be shocked. Money, how much money did they pay to have him in this movie? <laughs> is he Jewish? I don't know. I don't think so. Uh, Danny McBride playing the mustard that's seen some shit, man. The gritty yeah. mustard Danny McBride. He was, was the one that casting. was saying bitches and shit at the song. No, yeah, yeah. He was yeah. going out the store and then he came back. But again, that makes sense because it was Danny McBride. At least, at least in hindsight, I'm like, okay, I can forgive that one. Uh, Kristen Wiig, okay. Half a great performance. The other half, again, I feel like I'm going to be saying this in a lot of reviews. The material did not actually give her anything. Yeah. Uh, I think I've seen other reviews uh, pointed out that whole joke of like her singing awkwardly. She's nervous. Terrible. I didn't. False. I didn't find that funny. So I didn't find flat. that cute. So. Flat. This is the second time she's played that that character. 
You're saying Anne with Ghostbusters? No. Because that's three. No, I'm sorry. She not. was that nervous no, character. That, that, in that, sh that sheltered, God fearing character, Paul. Oh, God. She's never been in. At least as far as I've seen, she's really never been bad in anything. Actually, you know what? I will say she was pretty bad in The Martian. But again, that was the material's fault, not hers. She was just not that's in because it. Because there wasn't much of a role. <laughs> that's, that's what I'm saying, yeah. So again, I, that was the arguably the worst thing I've seen her in. This, great movie. this is right at the bottom for me. This is probably one of her least good performances. I won't say bad because of what I just said, but I would say least good. It's just a lot, a lot of people in this movie. Jo uh, Jonah Hill, Michael Sarah is the two hot dogs in the pack other than Seth Rogen. I really disliked this. Jonah Hill and, and Michael Sarah being buddies. Lot, it was like Superman 2.0 but with hot dogs. A lot of this movie just bored me. I was tired. I, I was operating on an hour of sleep when I went into it. Who played the douche? And it was really hard keeping me awake during it. The douche. I don't... I, Google? I can't remember. Should I Google? Go Google. I remember looking, and I don't think I recognize the name, but I'm not sure. Bill Hader was the Indian stereotype character, Firewater. That was a weird one. That's That was awesome. The non-perishables. I really like that like group, and they're the ones who started... They're like the Illuminati of the food world. Uh, I just love the parallels in this movie of just like the Illuminati, uh, classism, like like all the stuff that they decide to throw in. Like, it's yeah. really fucking actually clever. The, Isra uh, the Israeli... The, the Israeli-Pakistani <laughs> conflict. conflict. With, oh my god, with those two characters, which is amazing. I don't know what type of bread that other character was. I, I, I'm a yeah. failure culturally, sorry. Oh, I'm not the only one who thinks it takes itself too seriously. Interesting. Honestly, it's like, the movie at one point's like, okay, fuck, fuck, fucky, fuck, sex, 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 kid jokes, yeah, even though we're rated R. Ryan! A, even though that's a horrible idea, we're getting to that in a second. That's one of my favorite parts in the movie. But then the next minute it actually is doing clever things like Private Ryan, it's, it's doing clever things like... Like, uh, like I said, the, the mirroring, the, the parody towards real life, the satire, it all actually genuinely clicks and it works. But then it's, it's like, at the end of the day, what are you? Are you going yeah. for the dumb movie or are you, are going, you going to be a for platform like, for an actual message? Yeah, are you going for the horrors of war? Are you going to be a comedy? What the fuck are you doing? Weird to me, I was like, towards the third act, they literally just like reveal food to humans. Yeah. Like, I totally didn't think they were going that route at all. I mean, yeah. good on them for being unpredictable. With bath salts. <laughs> Which is totally the perfect idea for today. Who? Nick Kroll is the douche. Who's Nick Kroll? He actually plays the douche in Parks and Rec. Oh my god. That is perfect. Oh, and David Krumholtz. Okay, wow. Gritz was Craig Robinson. Oh my god. There's so many people that yeah, are wasted in this movie and they just... And they get top yeah, billing. I fun. hate... Stop doing that. I know you have to bring people into your movie, but that's the most obnoxious thing in the world. Seeing all those names and then like... Three quarters of them are in the movie for a minute. The douche was actually probably one of the more fun characters and satires towards a person, a subset of people. Weirdly, I got the feeling that was a subset of New Jersey. I'm Jack, bro. <laughs> yeah. What is this, all the tools? What I thought was clever was he got jacked up by drinking juice. It started as one of the worst. I love the fact that he constantly makes these jokes like, like for example, like, um, a food will be behind him and he'll be talking to someone. And it'll just be blah, 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 blah. And the food that he just mentioned by name. No, not you. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> exactly. But here's the thing. They do it so many times that it works its way into being funny. Yeah. And then the third one or fourth one where it's literally, okay, so, and then Queso pops up behind Queso, him. Queso. Like, Shut the fuck up, Queso. That's a stretch and you know it. The relationship between the main character and the, the, the uh, uh, love interest, when you have the, the actual romance on screen, I really don't feel it. I don't know if that's just me yeah. personally. I'm not... I don't... Because I don't all they do any... is talk sex every other sentence. Yeah, with touch tips. Touch yeah. tips. Just, just, touch just, just, just touch tips. Just touch is tips. Is that supposed to be cute? Uh, another problem. The douche, you just forget about him as an antagonist. There's multiple times where he just pops up just to juice up again, and then it's like, so what are we What are we doing yeah, with Yeah, what, what are we doing? And then you forget he exists in between those moments because they're few and far between. So, fucking, he disappears for a while, and then he just comes in and inserts himself up a guy's ass, and then in the final act of the movie, just kind of like, hey, I was a villain, we need to wrap me up, even though people yeah. are a huge antagonist at this point. Combine the two, giant fucking mech suit human thing. That's the weirdest thing ever. Just just steer a guy by shoving... Shoving himself up his ass. Yeah. It's literally the mech suit finale. Another thing that made it feel like it was like we don't know what to do, they just start killing people. 
Yeah. Like like the the drug he played by James Franco. Uh, he, and, and no, he didn't. They didn't kill he him. Picks he up, killed himself. I know. I know. I'm getting there though. But he picks up the the small hot dog played by Michael Cera, and he fucking brings it home. And then he trips on uh, bath salts, and then he starts seeing that they're real. So he's gonna bring them home. Then when he comes out of it, he's not high anymore. So he's just like stoner memory. Oh, he goes to make something to a to hot eat. dog. Yeah, yeah. Just goes to make something to eat. And then winds up like killing himself. They wind up learning how to drive. So we're saying that they're tangible and can ride in vehicles and stuff like that. And they bring his head there. And it's just, it's funny. It's funny that it just shows up with a head. I, it was a what the fuck moment. That worked. Yeah. But then like I have to bring up the negative of so. And I know I'm putting way too much logic into a comedy movie, but I kind of have to a because you have to have animated comedy. You have to think about it semi. There are times in this movie that make it makes no sense. Where, for example, oh. This is an animated thing, and see how it's rolling? That's it running away. But to me, visually, it's just ro it's rolling. Yeah. So then, when fucking Michael Sarah and Jonah Hill are running out that window, and Jonah Hill gets stabbed, what's actually happening there? That makes yeah, no sense. How did that, how did that There's get scenes up there? that don't translate with that own yeah, idea. How did, how did that get up there? It just kind of weirds me out that there's that inconsistency of like, are they real and tangible in real life? And then at the end, they confirm it. But it's like, so then what were those weird? Moments that just doesn't translate. Anyway, yeah. What were you gonna say? Oh, I was just gonna say dicks are. Oh yeah, di oh god, dicks are. Because he was like, well, what Pixar concept can I go with? Because there's like fish coming to life, there's robots coming yeah. to life. So what do I do? Food coming to life, and that would be horrifying, and that's actually a fun concept. And I think the concept is where the fun dies for that. It gets boring in an hour and a half 70, movie. Seventy-two virgin oils. <laughs> See, that was yeah, seventy virgin. That was great. Well, that was all the religious shit. Which there was a lot of. Uh, one of yeah, those major messages we were talking about was the allegory. religious aspect. It's, yeah, allegory of the cave. Should I just blindly sit in my cave and believe what I'm told and believe that this is my only reality? Or should I wander outside the cave and actually learn about life despite it being potentially dangerous? Classic allegory of the cave. Uh, Done pretty well, actually. On that note, though, I didn't like how, like, Seth Rogen's character, what was it, Frank, he, uh... Ha <laughs> ha! He's just, uh, he's just more than happy to just sit there and accept his life the way it is because, great beyond, I don't give a shit, but he also questions it and says, you can't just believe everything that they tell you to believe, but then it's like, he only has moments like that few and far between, so it's not really consistent. He, no, yeah, it does seem a bit he, like, he, he, He's just like, yeah... But I don't, I don't give a shit. Again, I, I'm going to the Great Beyond. I don't care. Again, I think it's indicative of... I'm sliding into a bun. I don't give a shit. <laughs> well, A, that's... That's wieners for you. <laughs> I don't yeah. give a fuck. I'm not thinking. But, no, more importantly, I think that's indicative of an hour and a half movie having yeah. pacing problems. I agree. His specific character arc is rushed, but I'm saying the actual movie's pacing, the way it moves, is a through line. It doesn't feel com completely uh, screwed up like Suicide Squad or Ghostbusters or any other... Movies we've seen. Meatloaf was funny. That was one of the best jokes in the movie. Meatloaf had the entire. That was the only time the entire theater cracked up. That yeah. was amazing. And then comes back later with the explosion behind him on the motorcycle. Oh, Gum. Gum was the best character. We had the Terminator joke with Gum. <laughs> dun, 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 I, dun. I am so a bit It's not even the right form of joke for the Terminator, but I don't care because it was just it was just funny. I am so a bit tall, a cynic at. Just call dun, dun, yourself dun, Gum. Dun 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 dun. dun, dun. <laughs> Bullet flies right by, and then just, <laughs> I really thought they were killing him there, and that really, that got to me. I was like, don't kill the only character I care about in the movie, and then just fucking Robert Patrick. And, it. and it, it was basically Stephen Hawking. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the genius. Oh, I was stuck under a genius's desk. Yeah, another thing I want to mention that I really loved, a lot of the movie tributes, because there was a few of them. A uh, particular one that I want to talk about is the Saving Private Ryan scene at the beginning, where it's just the, the flower hits the ground, and it's the dust and, and like, commotion. Yeah. And you see, like, sp like a can of spaghetti or whatever is it's just the war out. Zone. It's his guts, and then you have, like, peanut butter and jelly. Jelly's the dead. Oreo peanut butter's up his back, uh, like the arm scene. 1-1. Yeah. <laughs> one, one. When it, again, when it doesn't rely on just... Face peels off of the banana. Yeah. When it doesn't entirely rely on, on its juvenile humor, it's genuinely funny and, and, and kind of weirdly brilliant in some of its aspects. But it kind of just doused that small flame with a lot of juvenile water, well, so well, to speak. What was it? Peanut butter and jelly? Yeah. His the, wife's dead. Rubbing the jelly on his face. I'll Rubbing avenge you! Dead. I'll avenge you! I don't give a fuck about him. All right, douche. The ending just flat out says, like, yo, fuck this, this isn't real. None of this is real. None of this is real. It's just a movie made for, for idiots. Thanks for insulting your audience. 
And then it's just like, <laughs> in this other realm, you are played by a Jewish actor, Seth, Seth Rogen. Rogen. <laughs> Seth, Seth Rogen, wait, I'm Jewish? No, and no, then no. you, you're Edward Norton, and that's the first you're time Ed it actually that, turned on us. That, 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 yeah, oh, one, shit. And, I, and you were played by Edward Norton, and I was like, what the fuck? Hey, you brought it up. That's Edward Norton's in this fucking movie? You brought it up. That's definitely why they ended it with that. That being said, that's the cheapest ending in the world. And they yeah, go yeah. no portal, and then it ends. That's it. Literally, the, that's how the movie ends. It's, fuck you, audience. Fuck you for paying a ticket. Now, let's go to the real world. Overall, I really don't, like, hate, hate this movie. I don't like it at all. It's definitely not for me. Yeah. I can say that I'm not the the target audience for this movie. Same. It was just a lot um, a lot of the humor was just There was slightly phenomenal. younger kids than us. I'd say like probably like 15, 16. They were loving it. There were some points yeah, they were loving. Yeah. Oh, speaking of loving it, we skipped over this. I love the Nazi joke. <laughs> just kill the, the juice. Of, kill the juice. Although I think they missed it. They juice missed, is funny, man. They made, yeah, what the hell? I don't know why they want to kill the juice. Juice is funny, man. I totally think they missed a joke with Third Rice. They totally could yeah, have done they that. Yeah, they could have done that. Third Rice! That's honestly the bottom line here. And I, uh, again, I do think that saying it's a dumb comedy doesn't excuse the problems that it has. But it definitely, if you're just in the mood for a dumb comedy, you'll like this movie. Go see the movie. Overall, I think I'd probably have to personally rank it. And this is personal, because it's, it's hard to do comedy like that. But I, I'd say probably, like, a, trying to remove as much personal as I can, I'll do it that way. I'll say probably 40, maybe a 50. Yeah, around that. The settings in this movie are actually really well done, and I think the animation is gorgeous outside of the human beings. Oh, yeah. I think all the money and time went into just making these beautiful uh, uh, making the set pieces and stuff. I know they're not set pieces. gods look like shit. But I gen I hate. They're I like hated, a mix of Ratatouille and food fights. You know, fucking I, terrible. I hated, I hated when uh, Honey Mustard came back and it, the uh, the clerk, the guy talks to, just like, I don't give a fuck. With jokes like that, it almost seems like they're working towards a younger audience. But then again, you're yeah. a rated R movie and you have messages of social satire corruption and fucking religion yeah like no Just, no like not the right marketing not the right release you you you, you did you did it fundamentally even down to what you rated it wrong i'm actually genuinely surprised that we stuck around as long as we did in the food market i thought we would have worked our way out and then yeah. the story would take place out there trying to get back home which half of it did thanks to michael Sarah's character but then the other half the actual like main part of the story the b story was out there the a story was still in the supermarket i thought that was a ballsy choice i kind of like that i can see why people wouldn't want to stay there that long due to stagnancy but i feel like it switches up enough well, yeah. well, now we're in this aisle. We go, now we're we go in to the side. different aisles. It's and its own all world. Entirely different. Right? Yeah, I, I think it's genuinely. I like, fun. I like how the alcohol aisle was just chaos. <laughs> it's, it was party. It was modern day like raving. If you can like and subscribe, uh, leave a comment below, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. We'll see you next week. This is the movie in a nutshell. Dick joke, dick joke, dick joke, dick joke, dick joke, dick joke. I want to put it in. <laughs> Astro, 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 astro. Oh, just the tips. Fuck, 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 fuck this movie. Want you see that shit? It'll fuck you up for life. Good luck.